welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the New World Investment Series in Perth, and I've just caught up with Chris Gale, Managing Director of Latin Resources. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to the Roadhouse. Uh, to a very important gentleman for Latin Resources, of course, Chris Gale, the great man, uh, and uh, joined by Pedro um, Fonseca. Now, Pedro, I am going to go to you first because we're going to talk about Latin's Salinas lithium discovery, which I believe you're responsible for. Yes. Yeah, so um, one year looking around, doing the geological recognition, the mapping, and after one year, we found the outcrop, uh, the discovery, and we decided to drill. And it was a pretty amazing discovery uh, thing at first, but then after the drill, we found that it was amazingly uh, thicker and really extensive. So we discovered a swarm of pegmatites, which now we have the big resource. All right, so of all great things, uh, overnight successes. Um, you know, there was a lot of work leading up to it, you know, and then you put that drill hole in there, which uh, confirmed all the hard work you'd already done leading up to it. Yeah, well, it, was, it was a big job. Uh, we started with two people. Uh, today we have 108 people on site. Uh, it was a really big job uh, to go there. Uh, the access is challenging. And we climbed, you know, <laughs> uh, the, you know the, the, the creek was really steep, a lot of wood. And then we got there and we finally I uh, made all the plans uh, to, book, to put the main portable rig accessible to that location. And we, we put the first drill hole and uh, we, we got it. You know, it, was, it was pretty amazing. Yep. And, yeah, and, Chris, and Chris, you know, we can't underestimate the value of the discovery for Latin. No, not at all. Um, Pedro's our hero. You know, discovering that hole turned the whole company around. Uh, Pedro had been with us since 2019. Uh, on top of that, he had the Brazil had the COVID years. Pedro and his family had the COVID years. Two years of hell. Um, but we got back in, drilled. You know, Pedro actually found the outcrop. And we're going to drill up, COVID hit, we had to pull out, got back on end of 21. We got back on the ground, drilled in February of last year. The rest is history. But no, thanks to Brazilian um, geologists, um, Pedro, his team, been incredible, incredible for the company. All right, so you know, where are we now? What does it mean uh, for the company? You know, what are the next steps you now? Where, where we go from here? Yep, yeah, so look, um, we've got our upgraded resource came out in June, 45 million tonne. We've got 11 rigs still on site. We're still you know, planning to finish off to 65,000 metres, uh, which will be sometime early next year. That resource will grow. Our PEA is out uh, this month. SGS Lakefield are doing that. Uh, we'll have that out in September. Then we'll move through in our DFS, which will be uh, finished, completed, we hope in June, along with our environmental studies. The Minister Ice government are committed to approving that within six months. So we hope to have all the approvals in place by the end of next year and start construction in first quarter 25. And we think an 18 month, two year program will see some production 26. All right, well, so Pedro, this all puts you in a very uh, rare position that uh, being one of the very few people that can tell Chris what to do. <laughs> So I said that again. You can actually tell Chris what to do. Oh, <laughs> no. Chris took the risk because at first, when we got there, we had a lot of uncertainties. At that time, we were not in this uh, race of lithium, and we we had uncertainties. And Chris took the risk, and then said, "Let's go and drill that." He took the risk. And yeah, we did. You know, if Dream it was work. if it wasn't him, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. So it was not just me, not the team. We got a great team there, Rodrigo, uh, which is all the geologists that uh, put the drill hole with, together with me. And so all this together, 
team. Uh, we've made it. We're right. a team. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no doubt the team will keep going and we'll keep uh, producing, oh. and that's good to see. Uh, guys, please keep us uh, up to date with what goes on and look forward to catching up again soon. Thanks, Wally. Good on you. Thank you very much. Great.